What's going on everyone, Metal Raymond here, and welcome to something that's a little different from what I usually do. I'm going to be away for this weekend, so I asked Ryan if I could do another opening video. We're going to be uh, doing three parts, because I divided the boxes we're going to be opening into three different subcategories that you'll see very soon on the Box Test account. It's going to be a three-part series. So we'll have part 1 coming up on Saturday, part 2 on Sunday and part 3 on Monday. I just do not have the time to record that many Road to Untradables because they just take so much more time if I want to have a solid fun episode with actual progression. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have a part 1 with a $50 giveaway, part 2 with a $70 giveaway and part 3 with a $100 giveaway. And all you need to do is of course subscribe to the channel, like this video, comment your in-game name down below and turn on the post notifications. Of course I'll uh, repeat this little riddle every time uh, for the different parts as they come out. Uh, I really hope you guys are looking forward to this, it's going to be very interesting. I'm gonna hop on to the box test account and we're gonna start off uh, today with the part 1 and I'll show you guys what we'll be opening. Alright, so we're back on the box test account. I'm gonna show you guys what we'll be doing in these three parts in just a second. But I just want to clarify, first of all, shout out to uh, Bisa for suggesting this to me. He uh, contacted me on Discord saying that it's been a while since someone has done one of these and he is very curious about certain boxes and what they can actually give. So we're gonna do uh, a hundred of a ton of different type of boxes. I'll show you guys. I made three little subcategories and today in part one we'll be covering these things. 100 mystery chests with 50 normal prize keys and 50 grand prize keys, 100 mystery bags, 100 treasure caskets and 100 treasure chests. We have the little one over here for part two and the one here for part three. As you can see it's just kind of divided into different tiers. I believe these are the low tiers between quotes because the grand prize keys are still extremely expensive in, on top of the mystery chest. I mean, they are still like 60 bill plus per attempt, so it's quite expensive. But then if we go to the second one, we have like grand crest, blood chest, epic pet mystery boxes and even pet fuse boxes. So, you know, I would say that's quite a step up from the regular ones. And then for the last one, we'll have the donation thingies. I'm currently missing the grand promo uh, packages. I think he just kind of missed them. I'm sure they'll be added sooner or later for part 3 and then we can open those as well. So yeah, I just decided I'll have one for the donation thingies, one for the second tier and one for the first tier. So we're gonna start off with the lowest of the lowest and that is the treasure caskets. These are, you know, gained from a ton of different things like uh, daily tasks or uh, I think you can get them from a certain NPC drops and things like that. And of course from like PK tasks, things like that. So, we're gonna start off with that, and after we clear the entire tier 1, I will empty everything out, and then for part 2, we'll open the next one with a clean bank so we can really keep track of what we get for what. So, I hope this will work out with 10 treasure caskets in my inventory. Gonna start off with 500 donator tickets on the first rare. Keep in mind, these boxes are about 2.5 bill each, 2 to 2.5, so in order to make profit on this, you need something like this because 500 donated tickets is like five bill already let's see i don't want to spend too much time obviously because otherwise the video gets very long for how little happens but that's already the second 500 donated tickets we see mediocre loots at the moment although five blood diamonds is about the same as a casket in price wise so this is a very good one as well six billion block money and then another 1.5 in donated tickets ish Right, nothing too special overall. I would say it's these are good to open nonetheless. I would never personally sell them. I mean the blood shards will stack up quite nicely over time as well. Um, let's see a bit more shards. Nothing too rare at the moment. Got a tier 5 right there. That's not too bad. But these aren't the type of loot you want to see. Okay, so we got really lucky on those first 10. Because right now we are seeing quite a decline in what we're getting. And then we have the 2.5 bill which isn't even all that amazing. Let's go with the next 10. I'm gonna open them a bit quicker. I'll just check the yell for any loots. 500 blood money and 7 blood diamonds. Not too bad. Let's continue. No rares in that entire inventory. Hopefully I'll have enough inventory to open these. Yeah, I was afraid of that. I'll just uh, bank the tiers so we can keep track of all the stackables at least. <clears throat> Open some more. Nine blood diamonds from that one. That's very nice. 
in the end, I'll just do a rough estimate of whether or not you profit from 100 or if you do. That's a five bill in cash bags right there. That's a very good one. Just keeping in mind that you get a few of these untradeables like the mysterious emblems, I wouldn't count these towards your actual profit. So let's do a rough estimate right all right, and I open the calculator. So 250 bill is the estimate for what these caskets would cost. So you have 250 bill to buy them at 2.5 bill each. And we have 4.4k blood money. Let's say they would be 7 mil each. If you sold them for that, that would be another 30.8 bill. And then plus 42.6 for the uh, actual cash bags that we got. Donator tickets, let's price check those at 10 mil each. So that would be another... 56 bill, 56.25 to be very little, and then you have another 113 blood diamonds at about 500 mil each, so that would become another, uh, well, they might be 600 mil each, so another 60 bill or so. Rough estimates, guys, rough estimates. It's a little bit overdue to the extra, so let's do 66 bill for those. So from 250 bill in casket you would get 195.65 bill plus 108 point boxes. I suppose you could sell those and then keeping in mind you get 1325 shards. That's very good as well because eventually you'll be able to buy, um, <coughs> what's it called? The blood shard shop sells things like, uh, god damn it, I don't even know, like uh, ornament kits and things like that. So if you saved up enough of those you could eventually profit off those as well. So. All with all, I wouldn't say this is all that bad. 100 point boxes is still a good amount of cash and you don't make all that much loss if you're trying to hunt blood shards specifically. Maybe you need a few untradeables from that shot, something like that. And then we have 17 normal emblems and 3 tier 5s. Not too bad all with all. So yeah, let's move on to the 100 mystery chests. I think those are a lot more interesting. Everyone can get these caskets, but the treasures are a, a little bit more difficult. Very curious myself to see what kind of loot these can give. Very mediocre to start off, but then we get 250 blood shards from that one. Let's go through it a little quicker. 9 blood diamonds, 2 times 1k blood money. It's not too bad overall, but the rewards are very similar. I just think they have a higher chance of rewarding one of these uh, yell rewards, so to say. So you have a bit better odds of getting something good from these. Let's just quickly open all of them and see how much we end up getting in comparison to the uh, normal caskets we did just now. And we are done. Very nice, that's 100 opened. Let's, oh, I for, did it. Were these all from this one or were those from uh, a few from the caskets? Whoopsie, I might have banked a few. I'm not too sure actually. But you can already tell we got a ton of tier 5s from these in comparison to the uh, caskets and almost double the amount of mysterious emblems as well. We have 21,000 blood money, so that in and of its own is already like what, uh, 140 bill ish? It's quite a good amount. Then we have 90 billion straight cash, 225 point boxes, 10,000 donator tickets, so that's a good amount of cash to say the least, that's another 100 bill, and then 265 or 64 blood diamonds for almost the same amount. If you price them at 6 bill e or 600 mil each, they would be a little bit more, obviously. But all with all, the rewards are pretty high up there. The mystery chests are, of course, a little bit more expensive than your regular... Uh, regular old caskets they are way harder to obtain if we try and take a look at the trading post let's see if anyone even sells these chests there are a few in there for 14.5 bill each very very expensive i wouldn't say it's worth buying them to open them because the odds of profiting become a lot less but at the very least if you get one from somewhere then it might be worth opening I'm gonna clear this all out again and then we move on to the next one. 
All right, I see the issue from the previous one right now. If you try to empty out your mysterious emblems, they will just go to the bank because they are untradeable. Same with the shards. So we got around 3k from those treasure chests and 1.3k from the uh, caskets themselves. Anyway, next up we have the mystery bags. I think these are very mysterious as well because you don't see them being opened all that much. So let's take a look and see what kind of rares we can see from these. Starting off with an Obsidian Plate, a uh, Spectral Spirit Shield and a Magma Helm. Just to clarify, let's take a look at how much these bags go for. Come on, search. There are literally none in the TP. You don't see them often because not a lot of monsters drop these to begin with. But let's just take a look and see what kind of loot we can get. If you've seen episode 70, we got a few of these and they absolutely ripped me. And even as we're going along, you don't see any yell chats. Nothing that's actually rare are coming out of these. And the loot is, you know, <laughs> kind of average, kind of mediocre. Really good item, it's about the same price as a Divine and a Charmed Party Hat, also the first thing to announce so far from everything we've opened. Let's check the average price on these, I don't think they are even that much. Well, 9 bills, so it's even worse than Divine and Karasi, but it still announces for some reason. And then nothing special from the last ones. Now we have 3 more to go, 3 more uh, inventories at 10 at a time. Very nice, not too bad overall. Now let's have a quick looky looky at what we got. All right, I organized it a little bit, not entirely, but just the main items. We have one charm party at five divines from these, a Karasi sword, three dragon hastas, uh, we got one dragon warhammer right here, 15 tanzanites, 13 magmas, and 14 regular syrup helms. Total of 8.5k blood money. I, I think that could be buffed a little bit from a hundred of these. Not even getting 10k, I think that's a little bit on the low side. These are, after all, very rare to achieve. I don't think the overall reward should be buffed, but seeing a little bit more cash bags, blood money or donator tickets wouldn't hurt all that much if you ask me. We have a total of 338 GSs. I think I'll quickly do a 6 AGS or attempt just to see if it will give me one, because I think that's hilarious. Uh, yeah, a few barrel chest items as well. The variety is very nice. Overall, the items aren't all that amazing, but you can get lucky. I mean, if you open one of them and you get a Divine Plus, some other stuff, at least you'll profit. But all with all, the odds are going to be low, because that's 5 Divines out of 100 shields. I would say about a 1 in 20 chance. So yeah, not that much. And then we have one Charm Party at which is an extreme rare, but worth jack shit. <laughs> so I think that's kind of ironic. Anyway, I'm going to do those AGS attempts like I just mentioned real quick. Just to see if it will actually give an AGS or in 6 attempts. Zero. Yeah, well, then again, I didn't expect much else. <laughs> I'm gonna clear out everything and we'll move on to the last few openings. Alright, it's all cleared out except for the untradeables. Like I previously mentioned, they won't disappear. So, two Vengeance Skulls and two Elite Void Top from those. Gotta keep that in mind as we go along. Now, let's start off with the Mystery Chest. These are gonna take a while. They're a bit more difficult to open. So from the first one we don't see any blood items, and nothing again, except for the McDaddy hat. <laughs> um, nothing again. Damn! These are a rip and a half, fucking hell. Imagine opening 5 40 build plus items and getting this. <laughs> this entire inventory is a rip except for the Grand Crests. Those are the only good thing about it. I gotta keep in mind that I have these Grand Crests over here and we started with a hundred of them so we can keep track of how many we get and then open those as well as part of the mystery chests. Grand 
crest and a sled, things like that. Hey, there it is, an occult ornament kit, the worst ornament kit you can get out of the tree. It's torture, anguish, and then the occult one. And then we have our last five for the normal prize keys. And we got a mini me pet from that one. Not too bad, but nothing amazing either. Now that's a good one, a Yoshi pet at around 100 bill and another two crests. So that's the first 50 chests with normal prize keys. And we ended, ended up getting 31 grand crests from those. So at least that's the good part about it. Let's open those 31 real quick. Can I spam these? No, I have to manually click each and every one. Can we get a grand ring out of 31 grand crests? Yes, we can. One of those. There we go. I think that's already pretty lucky. Shouldn't expect to see one of those that often. We have a few more. Ah, oh, only one ring out of all of those. But we still managed to get 436 bill out of those. That's not too bad overall. But your average loot isn't all that amazing. So yeah, two ornament kits only out of a hundred... Uh, no, not a hundred. Fifty chests for only two ornament kits. That's not too lucky to say the least. Damn, dude. Alright, so after emp emptying everything out, we still managed to get one Elite Void Rope, I suppose, in the untradeable selection, but I'm not even getting... I don't have to calculate that to tell you guys that you make some epic losses on that. 50 prize keys plus 50 mystery chests will cost an average of around 2.5 trillion to buy. And the loot we received from that was, was probably not even gonna reach 1 trillion. And even if it did, it would not get close to 2.5. So without a doubt, that was a huge rip. But now we have the grand prize keys. These cost an average of like 45 bill, I do believe, maybe even a 50. Let's take a look, grand prize. Yeah, 45 bill-ish and the chests that are around 25 bill, so 70 bill per opening. But it gives a little bit more rewards, more item rolls per chest you open, as you can see. So, yeah, these are more expensive to open, but you have more chance to see something like that Torva Helm right there. Although it's very mediocre to say the least, because it's just not a good reward. It's going to be hard to open uh, many of these at a time, apparently. Because it fills up the inventory quite quickly. But that is what it is. We got two Grand Crest pieces from the uh, first few chests already, though. And another two, and another two. So that's not too bad, but even then, 70 bill to open. And you get about 70 bill in Grand Crest pieces back, so... My oh my, this might be a bit difficult, not gonna lie, to like a profit from these. We'll open the next three, three Grand Crest pieces from that and even a sled. I do suppose those are quite a little bit rare, but they aren't worth all that much as far as I know. We can take a quick look to show you guys. A sled will cost you... It's not even in there, a normal sled. <laughs> Alrighty then, maybe it is a bit more rare than I expected, but I'm not too sure on that one in specific. But we aren't seeing any uh, ornament kits yet. A heavy ballista right there. A few grand crest pieces and some average junk. We are only being able to open three at a time. And then the inventory is basically filled already. Let's open the next three. Come on, where are the blood items? We got a ton of grand crest pieces from that one. A four in total and a karasi sword right there. Four grand crest pieces from one chest. That's probably one of the better things you can get. For sure. Let's open the next few. Come on, man, where are the ornament kits at? We aren't seeing what we need to see. Hmm. Come on, man, where are the Torfa pieces, the Pernix pieces, the cold thingies? Another heavy ballista right there, but nothing too special yet. One, two, three, one, two, three. These are hard to open. I think I'll just uh, fast forward a little bit until we see something a bit more. Never mind. We got an occult ornament kit and a pure IV scroll. One of the better things you can get. The pure IV scroll is worth quite a lot because your average reward from those are quite a lot. You see, 100 bill ish to get one of those. And then we have the occult ornament, which is another 65 bill. So that's definitely one of the better chests we have seen so far. A Furthest Rope Legs and a Karasi from that one. And a Dragon Warhammer from the last one. That's pretty shit. <laughs> yeah, this, these are RNG to the max, man. You either rip or you either get extremely lucky. But don't expect to average it out.
and a Yoshi pad, not too bad at all at the end right there. So if we were to take a look at the most expensive items right here, we have the Yoshi, two of those, two occult ornaments, two pure IV scrolls. Those are definitely your best bet. If you if you get one of those, at least you'll profit. With a few Karasis over here, I think some Divines as well. Only one actually. Got a Rainbow Party yet, but that's not worth a lot either. Was there anything else that's special? Yeah, the Tor of a Full Helm. Kind of funny because we got another one of those in the normal uh, keys as well. So kind of mediocre right there. But this is what you can expect from a 50 with a grand prize key. I can instantly tell you that this is a huge loss. Like you do not profit from this whatsoever. I'm not going to say it's not worth opening them because you can get lucky. But it's really up to you. But we did get 55 grand crust pieces. And that would be an average of around... Hmm. Like... 2 trill? Or is that 200 bill? Let me think, 40 bill each? No, like 5 of them is 200 bill, so that's around 2.2 trill. But 50 times 70 would already be 3.5 trillion worth of chest opening. Well, I guess this compensates a little bit for that. So it's not even all that bad, but just because of the Grand Crest pieces being so expensive now. They used to be like 20 bill and back then you just ripped them really hard. So maybe it's not even all that bad. Because 3.5 trail, right? Minus the 2.2 from the crest, that would leave with 1.3. But then you have like 200 bill here, like 300 to 330 ish, 530 ish. It's not that bad, but I don't think everything together would really count for a profit. Now let's open those 55 grand crest pieces and see another grand ring. Because you always gotta love to see those appear in your inventory. Can you even. Oh, you need three inventory spaces for you with grand crests. Let's quickly open all of them and see multiple rings appear in our inventory. We got an Ancient Mace and a ring right there, the first one. Well, second one, but first one from these crest pieces specifically. Just spam them out. Let's get another ring. They aren't even all that rare, honestly. Or I'm just getting really lucky on them. It, it could be either. <laughs> you never know with RNG. Come on, can we see one more ring? Oh! No. Okay, so we only got one ring from all 55 crest. So I guess uh, that's pretty decent overall. I mean, this is worth like 700 bill, 600 bill ish. It's not that bad, but it could be a lot better. You definitely didn't profit from that. <laughs> Unless you maybe enchant it and get lucky on that as well. Let's clear it out and uh, yeah. Oh, wait, that's actually the end already. We already opened everything. Damn. For me it felt pretty quickly, but I think it's gonna be quite a long video, because it takes quite a while to open all of these. And uh, even longer to empty everything out as well, but that's the loot from the first tier. Altogether it's not that bad, we have a few untradeables as well, I guess you can get your Elite Void, but... It would be one hell of an expensive way to get your Elite Void if you try to get it from these. And as you can see, you, can dupl you get duplicates as well, so that's a, you know, a shame. I think it would be nice to have like an implemented system that... Uh, that detects any untradables on your account and if you already have it you don't get that again because getting two vengeance skulls is just a big rip they are rare in the first place and getting a second one of them is just like oh yeah that could have been a really expensive item but i get something i already have and i can't trade it so it's worth nothing so yeah yeah it's pretty interesting to say the least i don't think it's uh nice per se but it's good to know what kind of loot you can expect from all of this so yeah, we're gonna end part here, uh, part one here for today. I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. I will see you guys with part two tomorrow. And uh, yeah, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Metal Raymond out.